In Onshape, the derived function allows you to leverage parts from one part studio in one document in part studios in the same document or other documents. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in a document. I'm looking at a part studio. It's got a few different parts in here. And one that I want to reuse is the power distribution board. Also in a, another part studio in the same document, I have a, another part that I want to leverage in a different document. So let me go to that document. I'm going to use the on shape menu and find my new document. And here I am in the part studio. I have are my origin and my default planes. Let's go to the derived function, which is located in the feature toolbar. And you can see the tooltip. It tells you that you can leverage parts, sketches, surfaces, helices, or make connectors from any other part studio. And so let's click on the icon. And here we have the form right now. It is looking in the current document. Let's go to other documents and I'll go to recently opened. Let's go to the last one. And it tells me that in order to do that, first I need to create a version in that document. I've never created a version in there. So let's click on the link. It opens up a dialog box. Here it's giving a default name for the version. You can change that. You can write a description. I'm happy with all of that. Let's click the create button. And the version has been created. Let's expand the part studio here. We can see all the different objects in there that we can leverage. Let's grab the power distribution board. You can see the preview in the graphics area. Let's hit the check mark. And now we have a derived feature in our feature list. If we take a look at the parts list, here we can see our power distribution board. It is under composite parts because it was imported and it's located essentially at the origin of our model. If we want it located elsewhere, hey, we can simply transform its location. Let's click on the transform button. And right now for entities to transform, I will select the part. And then right now we're set to translate by line, but you can translate by distance, X, Y, and Z, make connectors, rotate, copy and place, or scale. For this one, let's just translate by X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to translate, let's grab it in this direction, a distance, just trying to get it offset from my origins. And let's punch in a number here, 300. And I like that value. Let's hit the check mark. And there we have our first component brought in. Let's bring in a, another one. So once again, I will click on the derived icon. Let's go to other documents. I'll go to recently opened and go to the same document. Let's grab the battery. And select the battery from inside of the part studio. Hit the check mark. And now for this one, once again, to get it where we want it to be, we can perform our different transforms. So for example, let's go to the transform icon. And once again, I am going to transform the part. And then instead of translate by line, I can choose to rotate or let's select our make connector and I'll grab. There we go. That's a good one. And then let's enter in minus 90 degrees. That's good for our first transform. Let's hit the check mark. Let's do a second transform. And this time again, once again, we will transform the battery component. Instead of translate by line, we can choose once again to translate by X, Y, and Z. And this time I'll grab and drag it in this direction. And we'll do minus 200. Hit the check mark to complete the transform. And now we can do a pattern of the battery. Let's go to a linear pattern. We're set for part pattern. 
and the object that I'm going to pattern is going to be the battery. For the direction, I'll select the plane called right, and let's choose centered. And for the spacing, let's try a value of 100. There we go. And I like that. Let's hit the check mark. And so in that way, we have laid out a number of different components. Let's use the keyboard shortcut P to turn off the display of the planes. And that way, now that I have these different parts from other part studios leveraged in here, now I can design other components around these different components. And since these are derived, we have a one-way association. So if these different parts are modified in their part studio, then we can update them in this part studio. So anything that is dimensioned or referenced off of them will update as well. So derived is a great way of leveraging geometry from other part studios in your part studio. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.